Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 5th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court while rejecting application for anticipatory bail of a man who had 24 grams of heroin and brown sugar in possession with him has observed that heroin and other drugs are destroying the country and ruining the youth. The court has held that non-banking finance and leasing companies are not liable to pay tax on the entrance component included in the higher purchase installment paid under the higher purchase agreement. The court has refused to entertain plea filed by the office bearers of Rampur's Maulana Mohammad Ali Johar Trust headed by Azam Khan for quashing of criminal proceedings in cases lodged for alleged land grabbing to expand the premises of the university. The court, while observing that Limitation Act 1963 is applicable to applications filed under Section 7 and 9 of IBC, has held that delay in initiating corporate insolvency resolution process is condonable on sufficient grounds. The Supreme Court has set aside Uttarakhand High Court order which had directed Central Bureau of Investigation to investigate corruption allegations against former Chief Minister of Uttarakhand Trivendra Singh Rawat. The court has held that National Company Law Tribunal cannot exercise a parallel jurisdiction with Securities and Exchange Board of India for addressing violations of the regulations framed under SEBI Act. The Supreme Court has stayed the Allahabad High Court's direction to Uttar Pradesh State Election Commission to notify the urban local body polls without OBC reservation. News highlights from the High Courts Starting with the Karnataka High Court The Karnataka High Court has suggested the Union and the State Government to change the nomenclature used to refer to retired defence personnel and use the term ex-service personnel in place of the term ex-servicemen in its policy-making endeavours. The High Court has held that, due to issuance of occupancy certificate prior to enforcement of the Act, the project loses its character as an ongoing project and therefore, determination of complaint by RERA authority was without jurisdiction and requires to be obliterated. News highlights from other High Courts in the country. The Delhi High Court has stayed the trial against Bharatiya Janata Party leaders Hans Raj Hans and Manjinder Singh Sirsa in a defamation case filed by Delhi's Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia. The Bombay High Court, while observing that alcohol in medical report is proof of inebriation, has held that an accident while boarding a train in such a state would disentitle a person from receiving compensation under the Railways Act 1989. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.